Hey guys, HK here, and today I'll be talking about the Sony conference, which just happened not too long ago. So, um, first of all, they had a nice, this cool intro. I don't know if you guys care about it, but the song was Metric, but it was by Metric, and I think the song was called Monster Hospital. So, anyways, moving straight into it, this is going to be like a, a condensed version of what they said in the conference. Just going by really quick instead of spending hours on it, just in case, you know, maybe someone missed it, or perhaps missed a little detail. But it doesn't, you know, it's not saying I might not miss a detail too here or there. So, anyway, going on. One of the first things that were talked about was that the PS Vita will be actually have be more focused on than before because as a Vita owner right now I feel like you know we're not gaining everything we should. This is a great piece of hardware, but I feel like they're not, you know, taking as much like the initiative to make you know better games and using it more than they could. We have upcoming games like Tearaway, Soul Sacrifice, and everything that I'm very excited for, but I feel like they should have a more of a focus on this because it's been out for a while. And I'm still not you know. I'm still not really convinced that, wow, I spent my money on, you know, and th this was totally worth it. But now they said that they will be focusing more on that, and it will be, it'll be very, it'll com be compatible with the PS4. I believe it'll have remote play, among other things, so I'm really excited for what's to come for the Vita. Next up, they announced, they showed off the new remotes. I'm not sure if you guys see that. It does have a touchpad in the front like we've seen before, and, uh, and also has this light bar which I'm not entirely sure what it does I'm we'll probably be able to Google and find out and also they'll be having this uh, this strange bar it has like a camera on it I'm, it's supposed to have some kind of like recogni recognition thing or something but we can go into more detail on that later moving on the PlayStation 4 is actually supposed to be more social based meaning that it's not just gonna be kinda like your you know your online gaming alias that will be involved but you can actually Show your name, you know, connect to other social based networks, pictures, and whatnot. This not only this not only uh, excluding just you know social networking, but you're also gonna be having live streaming. So this is actually gonna be pretty cool. They're adding live streams where you can actually uh, you know live stream the game you're playing on the internet and have other people watch. And you know that's this has been something that's been a uh, kind of big for a while now. A lot of people, you know, enjoy live streaming games. A lot of people like watching, you know, particular YouTubers live stream games. And this is actually gonna be probably going to be something that's going to be integrated into the PS4, which would be really cool for a lot of people that just, you know, kind of want to just show off those games. And then they have, they're going to have, a, I believe, a jump-in system where your friends can actually jump in the game and help you out, kind of. Like, they can comment and you can help you out through their th live stream and stuff like that. Kind of like how other, li you know, real live streams go. But then also, they can take over. This is a key thing, I think. They can actually take over your game. And if you're having trouble with the part, and actually play for you. From uh, wherever they are. I'm not sure. But I thought this was cool. But at the same time, I'm not entirely sure. Because, of course, we have parts that, you know, maybe we're it's just, you know, too hard to beat. But, you know... We can't. We shouldn't just give up and let someone else do it for us. We just keep going. That's you know that's a challenging part of the game. If it's not challenging, then you're just gonna be kind of bored, I guess, depending on the game. It's just it's just kind of my opinion. I, I like it, but at the same time, I feel like in some things it will be making it a little too easy. Along with that, we'll be seeing um, the PSN having many different services. Like I believe they said that they'll have music services. Of course, other things that we've seen we've seen before in the PS3, like Netflix. We'll see like Hulu along with many, many different other services that will come. All right, moving on to games. We actually had a really cool um, sneak peek of some gameplay of Killzone Shadowfall. It looks amazing. I I'm not really entirely sure if you know. This might be like pre-rendered and stuff to show off, but it looks great. They showed the gameplay. They showed everything. It just looked breathtaking. The environment, the graphics, everything. I don't have a video, so but you can probably look it up on YouTube or something and find it there. But it just looks great. However, this was not the first game that was shown for the PS4. The f actual first game was a, a game called Nax. It looks like <laughs> it looks kind of cartoony and stuff, but you know you got you gotta give it a try, I guess. It's gonna be also available for the PS Vita apparently, or it's they showed remote play for it. I'm not. So after they showed off Killzone. They actually showed off another one, a game, it's a racing game though, it's called Drive Club, it's going to be a team based racing game, but it's going to be actually ha different, I'm not I don't know if this is going to be something that will work out for them, but you know, worth a try, it's something different. This game's actually going to be more focused on kind of like challenges, 
versus racing meaning that you know it's okay if you don't win the race because if you like if you do depend do other things challenges and whatnot that like that's what you're aiming to do i guess it's so it's also going to be having a lot of detail like you've seen in gran turismo and stuff where you can look around the car and just see every single little detail of that car except this one will go more, even more in depth with uh what the ps4 has to offer offer spec wise the other thing too is that this game does have a more social aspects to it meaning like where i said back then about the whole social base this thing will be integrating you know mixing the two with that so it's gonna be kind of weird but i don't know maybe it'll work for it because basically it's like you know social social network combined with racing game and but they did show a small amount of gameplay where someone it sh shows you go inside the car and start up strap it and everything and that looks amazing i mean it's been done before but this on the ps4 just looks great it really just immerses you into the game also announced was infamous second son they showed a little trailer of this game and man were people going crazy this it was it's gonna be um you know they had all the f whole futuristic settings supernatural powers and everything and it appears that the government is in control here i haven't played you know the infamous games too much but it looks fantastic but it appears to it's not going to be based off of uh the original infamous series i'm guessing from because it looks like it's a different guy from uh cole so we'll see how that goes they just showed a trailer but it looks great if you can you check it out and another game announced was the witness they also showed off the move controller which i don't know if i'm a big fan of or not i know it's kind of these kind of move controllers are kind of you know we don't know if you know some people don't like them some other people do and i'm kind of on the fence on that one I, i'm not really sure it looks interesting but then you it's just like they showed a video of two guys you know dancing around with it and sh showing two you know pixelated characters doing what they were doing However, I'm really, sh I'm pretty sure you don't have to do all those silly movements they do. All you have to do is move the Wii remote. You don't have to move your whole body, pretty much. So I don't know. I felt like they're, you know, they're try just trying to sell a product. Then they also have this creative mode where you kind of like use your imagination and stuff to that. I haven't, they, ha they haven't go into super detail about it, but it looks really interesting from what they did show off. Moving on to Capcom and whatnot, they actually showed off a new Penta Ray engine, and with that. They showed uh, this cool demo for a game they're making called Deep Down. This actually looks like a fantasy medieval kind of game. Um, the graphics for it looked amazing. I'm not entirely sure if this was actually, you know, all gameplay footage. I mean, they had a HUD in there, but it didn't look, you know, it, it didn't convince me. It looks like it looked like a mix of uh, a little gameplay, but, you know, a lot of, you know, script cinematics and stuff like that, cutscenes, in-game cutscenes at least. But again, this engine that they showed off, it looks great. The the detail they went into it, just everything about it, it looks like it could be this game could be something to look out for on the PS4. Next came Square Enix, Square Enix, who showed off their new engine, which actually Square Enix kind of disappointed me in this conference. They showed off the engine for a um, demo that they already showed months ago. I'm sure you guys have seen it, the whole, it's like in a, I don't know, desert kind of area. They were basically showing off their new engine, and it was the same thing. Uh, you know, it, it, didn't, it was nothing new. Then uh, they actually announced that there will be a new Final Fantasy title, but but it won't, you know, they won't, you know, announce it till E3. They just told us, they just said to be excited for it in E3. So Square Enix kind of disappointed me there. They didn't really do much. They just showed an old demo, and they just told us to be excited for E3. So there's nothing really exciting there. Next came Ubisoft, Ubisoft, which really actually this one got me excited, which was for Watch Dogs. So they showed a gameplay demo of basically, you know, it shows the character moving around. He, it seems like you can actually see, predict uh, cr crimes that are about to happen. It kind of reminded me of Minority, Minority Report, but, you know, of course, it's different study and everything. You can control everything as, of course, like lights. Uh, trains, pretty much the whole city is in your hand. Anything electronic you can control. And the demo will just look fantastic if you can look that up, or maybe I'll just put a link on it so you can look at that. Next was actually kind of a surprise, and I'm not sure if I'm too happy about it or not, but basically Blizzard came up, and so they announced a team up with Sony, and Diablo 3 is actually going to be on the PS4. Now, this one is especially mixed right now, right off the bat, because... I'm sure a lot of people know that Diablo 3 wasn't well, well it was it sold well but it wasn't well received from the gaming community. It's 
where I stand on it, it was fun, but after like two playthroughs, I was kind of done with it. And I, I, I think you know some people kind of feel the same way about that too. Uh, it took me, it's like I waited months for PvP, and that never came. And but anyways, it's it's good, but I don't know if you know, I don't know where this is going. I'm sure, actually, you know, Blizzard going to Sony on moving to the console, this is definitely a big surprise. Maybe they'll be showing off more games. Who knows? I, we'll just have to wait to see what comes next. Last but not least for games, Activision came up, and they uh, announced with Bungie, yeah, Bungie, that Destiny game. I think this Destiny has been announced for some quite time now. Um, but, but this time they actually showed us some gameplay well minor gameplay but it was still gameplay and it looks really interesting it's it's a futuristic of course shooter kind of reminds me of planet side and yet in halo of course so yeah you'll be able to tell if you just look at the demo I, right away when i saw their armors and stuff i just thought this you know of course inspired by halo or whatever but it's great to know that bungie's you know still not out just ever after uh they finished you know with halo so anyways besides that I believe that was covering the main things about the Sony conference. They also talked about the specs and of course the also announcement for Unreal Engine 4. But other than that, I think those are the main things that I wanted to get to, that the main points of the conference. Um overall this conference was okay. Uh, you know, it's just kind of show off what they're co they're coming with next. They're probably going to show a lot more at E3. But so far, it was okay. Just some, it, it didn't really pique my interest too much, which is why I wanted to do this condensed version of all that time, you know, instead of spending hours watching the live stream. So I think these were the main topics I want to talk about. And yeah, that covers the Sony conference of what I want to talk about in, let's see, like 12 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and everything if you want to. It's up to you. And um, I'll, I'll see you guys later.